I am speed, faster than lightning, float like a Cadillac, sting like a Beamer. Do you ever think about the thrill of speed, the sense of adventure, the smell of automobiles packed with the best of technological assets assembled by the most tech-thirsty brains? Thirsty reminds me of water. Wait, I'll be back. Where was I again? Yes, it is traveling your idea of having the best time, and yet you wish to travel in less time. <laughs> Get my point? We have seen the evolution of almost every sphere connected to the human species in all these years. Technology has been the fastest to evolve, but would you believe me if I said that there is a train recently introduced faster than a speeding Bugatti? Wait up, it's true. China has launched a maglev train accounted as the world's first maglev transportation system capable of reaching a whopping top speed of 600 kilometers per hour, or about 373 miles per hour. It made its public debut in Qingdao, East China's Shandong province. This maglev train has been completely developed and made in China. And well, unlike the presumed Chinese toys prone to breakage, this train is nothing short of a beast. P.S. It won't break. A Chinese thing that I can rely on. The train thrives on electromagnetic force to make the train levitate over the track with absolutely no contact between the train and the rail track. Straight up magic. If it had been the 1800s, we would be running for our lives. Only a handful of countries use the technology for their ground transport system. However, China being a badass has been using it for almost two decades. Two decades! Woo! Ever since the Y2K era. A long time. The first and only maglev train line in China found its feet in 2002 with a spotlighted launch, and it connects Shanghai Pudong International Airport and Longyang Road Station. Although the Shanghai maglev train holds world's fastest electric train with a speed of 431 kilometers per hour or 268 miles per hour, the new China-built maglev train has a top speed of 600 kilometers per hour. Its high-speed cruise will make it the fastest transportation route within a distance of 1,500 kilometers, which is approximately 930 miles in real-time travel. The trip from Shanghai to Beijing will only take 2.5 hours by maglev train, usually 5.5 hours by high-speed train. The Maglev train was built by China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation, or CRRC, and began production in the eastern city of Qingdao. The project was launched in 2016, and the first prototype was unveiled in 2019. However, it is essential to note that China doesn't currently have the Maglev train tracks at speeds of 600 km per hour. But the Chinese authorities are already working. Several other works of the Maglev train are currently under development in China. In early 2021, another model maglev train was exhibited in the country that promised a top speed of 620 km per hour or 385 miles per hour. The maglev train model measures 21 feet long and has a lightweight body made of carbon fiber. According to experts who helped improve the image, the super bullet maglev train is different from trains that use low temperature technology in Germany and Japan. The Chinese maglev train is also said to be simple and inexpensive to produce and operate. Engineers involved in the project also say that HTS technology is best suited for transporting vacuum or nearby tunnels. HTS technology can make a train float without electricity and can be moved with one hand. Deng Zigang, a university professor, told Xinhua, The university has built a 165-meter test track, which will be used for pilot testing. Now, if you aren't yet satisfied with the specifics, why don't I give you an insight into how the legend, the billionaire visionary Elon Musk, feels about this new invention, and to be more precise, Hyperloop in general. Musk said that's one of the easiest projects to come up with. I know different companies are trying to build Hyperloop, and I think it's much easier than people think. Blueprints are always sophisticated, and yes, there are statistics, but they're not that difficult, Musk said in an interview. Hyperloop is Musk's concept of a transport system that can travel in almost sonic speed in a vacuum tube. Although Musk himself does not pursue Hyperloop in any trade, his company SpaceX is hosting the Hyperloop pod competition next year to get the best passenger capsule design in the proposed system. It's like an air hockey table. It's just a low-pressure tube with a pod in the middle that runs on air, bears on-air skis. A front air compressor takes the high-pressure air built into the nose and pumps it into air skis. Of course, I swear it's not that hard, Musk said. Musk, who's also CEO of Tesla Motors, proposed the concept of the Hyperloop in 2013 as a way to travel between Los Angeles and San Francisco. But Musk said during the interview that he had a better idea of traveling more than 500 miles. The most important thing that I think should happen is the transition to electricity. 
the ideal distance, long distance, is a high altitude electric plane. Then there is the special case of cities with a lot of travel distance between them, less than 500 kilometers away, where I think Hyperloop can be useful, Musk said. It's a special solution because the longer the distance, the longer it takes for the plane to take off and land, which most do on a 500 mile journey, that percentage goes down and it's better just to use the plane. If you're looking for a real-time example, China telepathically knew and came up with the world's first glass-bottom sky train that runs on lithium batteries and offers stunning views. China has introduced the world's first glass line train, allowing passengers to take in a 270 degrees view of the beautiful countryside. The train also marks China's first attempt to signal a renewable railway stop. The show train, similar to the world's most famous animal, the panda, was released from the production line in Chengdu, Sichuan Province on June 26. According to CGTN, the SkyTrain covers the glass roof on three sides of the cabinet. The maximum limit for passengers who can travel in each car is 120 each, with one to one eighth of the regular subway line. Driven by renewable energy sources, the train is green compared to other high speed trains running across China. The eco friendly affair The train is heavily developed by Zhongtang Air Rail Technology and has been featured as part of the Day Air Rail project, which is the first line of windmills worldwide. According to the company, the train operates with lithium battery power pack. For subway or subway, the air rail project incorporates tourist traffic and sightseeing features. The video of the train in the sky, shared by CGTN on YouTube, has been viewed by more than 1,005,646 times and collected tons of consistent responses. While many have called the sky train a feature, others joke that it could make the West jealous. Yet, many expressed their desire to travel by train and enjoyed watching with their loved ones. It looks like it's really the future like many Chinese stuff. China is on the right track. Someone will be jealous, the user wrote. Western imperialists, China stops copying things we don't have and can't build, laughed another. Meanwhile, the third comment reads, This will attract more tourists than a day-to-day -day trip to the local workplace, sighing and having fun with your loved ones. Damn, I was impressed that China is amazing, read another comment. So yes, there are a lot of mixed reviews about it. China, the boss of invention and technology. The ancient Chinese were famous for their inventions and technology. Many of their inventions had a lasting impact on the entire world, and the legacy still goes on. Other inventions led to incredible feats of engineering, like the Grand Canal and the Great Wall of China, the firing of a rocket using gunpowder, the invention of the Diamond Sutra, the world's oldest printed book, etc. And not to be forgotten, silk, a soft and light material much desired by the wealthy across the globe. Why not let our imagination run wild for a minute? What if China combines the battery technology and the train technology that we will have would be the fastest EV train? But that is just me letting my imagination go wild, but it's still possible. With the innovation of this maglev train, China will touch a feat that has not been acquired and will leave the world far behind technologically. Planning to take a trip to China to travel like a bullet yet? Well, maybe I'll see you in China.